Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This video is planning out the next week. Um, it is actually today, July 3rd, so I am a little behind. Usually I do this a couple days earlier, but of course I'm running behind. Also, first of all, take a look at these nails. I use the Dipwell system, which is like powder dip acrylic alternative system. So, so cute. So I have a link in the description box. Um, I'm not an affiliate or anything, but they do have like a referral code, but um, they always have specials. Sometimes there's free shipping. They have a bunch of different like colors and stuff, but it's just so cute. Okay. I have coffee. I'm in my <clears throat> summer Franken planner that I made, which is a combination of Erin Condren uh, monthly, weeklies, and some daily pages. And this is my summer planner that I'm using for the summer that I made. There is a video about this. I'll link it below. And I'm going to use a little bit of the washi tape. This is the color blends washi from Erin Condren. So this is what their last release looked like from last year. So what I'm also trying to do is time block the days. So my kids are on summer break. And I sort of made a time block schedule to say this is how the day is going to go basically. I need to wake up, you know, this is when my nephew comes, we have breakfast, creative time, lunch, we're going to go outside or do something fun, then they have tech time, dinner, quiet time, bedtime, planning, and then that's it. And then every day has a different focus as far as like cleaning or miscellaneous homemaking things, the meal schedule, the activities, that sort of thing. So I wanted to sort of time block it in the planner looking at the week. Um, I'm not gonna like color code it. This doesn't have a specific color code system. This was just, I like the colors in this Canva template, so I just kept them. Um, my kids in my Google Calendar have a, um, the color corresponds to them and to family, to me, to whoever. So I'm not gonna do that here again because it's just like all of us and nobody really has an appointment this week. So it's more of just like, how is the day gonna go? So I think it's probably just gonna be me and my pen and doodles and maybe some washi. So let's start. So I already messed up and I changed my mind. I am going to add some highlighters just to denote the time blocks. And this has to go away, so I'm going to use some white out. This is from the Dollar Tree, but you can get this wherever. Hello. Okay.
All right, so this, I don't like this. <laughs> it's okay, it, I like the, the washi, I like the color scheme. I know I said I was gonna keep it simple, but then if you've been following me, I have a million stickers in a box that I'm trying to work through without having to buy more stickers. Um, that video is coming soon of like how I'm going to actually organize it because I have a whole like binder system plan to see if I can sort of get my life together with stickers. Um, but I think this is fine. So basically at the top, I've got my weekly focus or I'm sorry, my daily focus. These don't change. This is usually the same every week. Um, so that's just sort of like my routine to know that this is what I'm doing on this day. I have the meals, so I have breakfast, lunch, dinners. I follow a template for that as well. Um, I believe that is also in the summer planner book video where I walk you through how I set up this Franken planner and how I use a template to plan out my meals, especially in the summertime. This box means creative time. So during the week, I'm trying to time block time for my girls to have creative time. So that means like Legos, writing, reading, um, slime, Play-Doh, playing, like coming up with an idea for something. So just something that's like not on their tablets, especially if we're not going outside yet or if I have a task that I need to do, they need to be doing something with their brains. And then we have a weekly activity or a daily activity. Also, that's sort of a template as far as like you know, Fridays is usually when we would go on a hike. Um, I don't have my nephew this day, so this is sort of the day that I try to get my work done. So they're a little bit, the schedule is a little bit more loose, but because it's the fourth, we're going to my mom's for a pool party. Um, today we're gonna go bowling. And then if the weather's nice, we do try to swim. My parents have a pool, so that's where we are. Tech time is in the afternoon and then all the meals for the week as well. This is following a template. I always let my kids choose um, it rotates on Saturdays. Each kid has a choice of what they would like to have for dinner. Um, and they're supposed to be helping me cook it, but you know how that goes. This is, oh, and then I've got my list on the side here. So this is kind of like where I'm looking at. So I'm going to like leave this out on my desk slash little table in my office room in the back. Just kind of like as a reference, even though I'm also using my A5 Daily Duo, which is also like every day. This is what I need to get done. So this is sort of like week at a glance. I never put the July plans in here because I've got them in the A5 to reference and we have a wall calendar and it's in the Google calendar and I just felt like I don't need it in another spot. That seems a little bit nuts. So I think it's fine. I don't like this, but again, I'm just trying to use up some stuff. And really this is supposed to be functional with some fun stickers coming in there just to kind of like use them up. So. Coming up are more Plan With Me videos. Um, I'm trying to use up the weeks in here. This will be the last month that I have um, hourlies. Is it the last month? No, okay, so I have August hourly weeks as well. And then that's it. And then I'm switching to a new planner for the fall. There's a video coming out about that. Um, so stay tuned, but um, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate the time that you spend looking at me playing with stickers and writing and working on my handwriting and talking about my life. So <laughs> I appreciate you. Uh, please consider subscribing. If you liked anything in this video, I would appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up. It just really helps out my channel, get to know you in the comments and what you like to see from me. I always love feedback, any kind. So thank you, friends. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.